Protesters marched through the streets of London calling on their government to bring the troops home. It's not the first time and won't be the last. The thousands here represent millions across the UK. The latest reputable poll shows 60% of the British public are now opposed to the war. This as the number of British troops killed in Afghanistan this year reaches 100. It shouldn't be imperialistic rule over Afghanistan or any country for that matter. It's the, those times have gone and our troops should come home. There's been enough death and destruction over the last few years and every single week and month there's a, there's a coffin coming back home. The length of conflict that the West has inflicted on the region is going to lead to generational strife and I don't perceive that it's going to be improved by us staying and fighting. NATO has been talking about an exit strategy in Lisbon, with Prime Minister David Cameron pledging to withdraw British combat troops from Afghanistan by 2015. But here in the UK, the head of the armed forces has recently warned that troops may have to remain in Afghanistan for as long as three decades, in what's being called a supporting role. That's not been received well in a country facing massive public spending cuts. The age of austerity has only served to increase support for the anti-war movement. These people are asking why billions are still being spent on a war without end and without any real direction when services and education at home are being cut. Protester after protester told Press TV that with the economy struggling to recover, now is the time to end Britain's involvement with the war. At a time when... Uh, uh, workers in this country are expected to um, take cuts in their pay and their uh, services. Uh, they're spending enormous amounts of money on war. On the podium, anti-war activists were joined by MPs, journalists and even families of soldiers currently in Afghanistan. The demand for a withdrawal is now stronger in the UK than ever. NATO troops are now escorting Taliban negotiators to meet the Karzai government. So let's have less of the hypocrisy. We all know what's going to happen in the end. There is going to be a government in Afghanistan which includes the Taliban, whether we like it or not. We can do this now and less Afghans and less soldiers will be killed, or we can do it in four or five years' time when a lot more people have been killed. The British government maintains that its military presence in Afghanistan helps prevent the spread of terrorism. But the protesters believe Western powers are simply destabilizing the region and adding to the problem. And that view is spreading. Hassan Ghani, Press TV, London.